Okay, so you got to open up a project first, create new song. You're going to go to sampler in the keyboard option. All right. Then you're going to go to import, go to music, and type in the name of your 808 that you're going to be using. So I'm going to put 808. Click the download option there. And booyah. All right, so you got the option of shaping it. So you have the option of shaping it, tuning it, and trimming it. But we're going to tune it, and I'm going to tune it to zero. After right. you find tune it, click the smart control at the top, and it's going to take you to this keyboard. Make sure you have it on scroll so you can scroll to the different octaves, okay? Then you're going to go to the song settings option, go to song setting. Then you're going to go to key signature. And then you want to make sure you tune your 808 to the song. So I'm going to put it in F. Then I am going to go to these two notes. And these are the different scales you can put your song in. I'm going to F minor. So minor scale. And voila. You want to play around with the notes to see what pattern you want for your 808. So 808s are bass notes, so you want to go lower. And this is perfect. Then we're going to go to the song settings again. And we're going to change the tempo to a more upbeat pace. I'm going to go to um, 120. Let's play around with that and see how it sounds. I recorded four bars, so we're going to tap on this plus sign, and we're going to change it to four bars. Click the down arrow. Done. Great. Now we're going to edit our 808s. So double tap this, click edit, and scroll down. Right, and you'll see all your notes. By double tapping the screen, you can push select all. All right, and then you want to nudge uh, your notes over if you have to, to quantize them or keep them on beat or in timing. All right. And you can go in and individually move them to where they need to be on the grid. And 808s need to have that ring to it, so I like to keep um, them stretched out a bit. I'm going to go through and manually put them on the right note or in the right spot. After that's done, we're going to double tap again, and we're going to turn up the velocity, hit velocity, all right, and then you want to scroll all the way up. 808 is supposed to be booming, you know. Now we're going to edit our 808s. We're going to go to song settings again, track controls, scroll down to plug as an EQ, hit the EQ. Make sure it's on powered, all right? Now, analyze it to see where the frequencies are in the 808s. All right, so we're going to turn up some of the bass, turn down the highs. All right, you want to play with it, see what sounds good to you. Now we're done with that. Now we're going to go back to the plugins and EQ option, all right? We're going to add some distortion, so you want to go to edit click the plus sign 
it's gonna bring up some options. So click distortion. We're gonna use some distortion. All right. And just play with it to see how you want it, you know. Get that booming trunk sound or whatever you want. Just give it personality, you know. Do you. And that is how you use 808s and GarageBand for iPhone.